Hey guys, so uh, I just want to do a quick little benchmark speed test here between the iPhone 6s uh, and some of its uh, Android rivals, the HTC One M9, uh, the S6 Edge, the Z3 Plus and the LG G4. Uh, so we can see how it compares here uh, between them and uh, we're just going to start off with Antutu here which is a pretty cool test to run. Uh, this is the 64-bit uh, version where applicable and I have uh, got rid of everything in the background as well so it is a fair test so uh, let's just start them off here nice and quick and uh, you can see uh, straight away here the Apple A9 seems to be rushing out ahead I have tried to order them in terms of the kind of uh, how large the device is. You can see the iPhone uh, 6s is quite small here still compared to this big boy LG G4. Uh, and I think uh, 2016 is definitely shaping up to be an interesting year when it comes to processor technology. We've just heard from Samsung they have. Uh, made official the Exynos 8 series which is going to be beastly uh, in terms of the performance uh, it's not known whether they're going to use the 8 series in the Galaxy S7 or if they're going to go with Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 uh, which in itself is a massive improvement over the, uh, the uh, Snapdragon 810 this is a bit dirty uh, but it should be interesting nevertheless, whichever one they go for. I think it's definitely going to be better than 2015 devices. Uh, we can see here the HC1 M9 seems to be going out ahead. Uh, the LG G4 is not doing too bad. Sony is lagging behind though a little bit. Uh, maybe it's just uh, feeling a bit left out you know Sony kind of moved on so quickly from the Z3 Plus we didn't really get much chance to know the device and I'm really looking forward to getting the Z5 in to compare it with the iPhone 6s and the HTC One M9 seems to be on the graphical portion which is very nice uh, the edge is as well as well as the Sony and are we nearly there on the iPhone still testing the RAM performance obviously we're getting 2 gigs of RAM in the new iPhone it probably takes a bit longer here but you can see for the graphical performance buttery smooth on most of them all of them actually buttery smooth the edge is obviously pushing a quad HD as well as the G4 really surprised at how well optimized the G4 is given that the processor is not quite as strong as the others on the table here it's not really 808 uh, but you can see it's uh, no lags or anything when it's doing the graphical part oh the M9 has finished and then the G4 and then the S6 Edge wow wasn't expecting that and the Z, wow look at that discrepancy that is a huge discrepancy between the Z3 Plus and the M9 uh, you're literally getting like 10,000 more points with the same hardware that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever if you ask me bro I can just zoom in a little bit here so you can see what, what I'm talking about look at that, that is, what is that about Sony definitely need to optimize the device better and finally we do have the wow we don't have the iPhone what happened there are we getting oh 
so it's finished there you go so you can see 65,000 here 857 so does that make it top of the food chain no it doesn't actually the S6 edge is still a little bit higher 67,389 so you can see a massive improvement though over the iPhone 6 which I think gets about 40 to 50,000 uh, but the S6 edge is still top of the food chain with the Exynos 7 series uh, which is what I was expecting actually. So finally we can just quickly run a Geekbench test on all of them to see uh, how they handle Geekbench 3 which is very good for giving you the information uh, in regards to the single core and the multi core performance so this is going to be interesting here wow the iPhone just flew through that uh, didn't break a sweat at all you can see it's getting 2,564 for the single core 4,478 4, multi core and the Android devices are still labouring here but maybe we will see better on the 7820 when it comes to this test So the Edge has finished here and the multi-core score a lot higher here for the Edge but the single core uh, not quite as good as the iPhone. Uh, you can see the multi-core here on the M9 uh, a little bit lower than the Edge but much higher than the Z3 Plus again here. Uh, you can see single core as well a little bit higher and uh, wow the G4 even scores higher than the Z3 uh, Plus with its uh, Snapdragon 808 which is pretty awesome as well as a single core so that uh, is pretty awesome here but you can see the Apple A9 decimates uh, pretty much everything here when it comes to the single core and I think the single core is where it's really important so that is a uh, very nice performance here from Apple's latest and greatest uh, but uh, you know how can the Z5 improve on this we'll have to see and we will definitely see uh, very shortly it is due to be launched uh, but yeah just a quick little video here then checking out the uh, benchmarks between the new iPhone 6s and some of its uh, competition here Clearly a very uh, strong process if you ask me and if you did like the video uh, do uh, hit the like button and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.